Welcome everyone into my channel Saskiano with UMD. If this is your first visit to our channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification button. Do not forget to leave your feedback and your suggestions down below in the comments. This will help me to improve the content of our channel. The majority of Instagram stories are both delivered and consumed in a vertical format. So, we're going to look at how to optimize 16x9 the animations for consumption on Instagram in that vertical video format. So, before I dive too far into After Effects, I want to tell you that there is a feature in Premiere Pro called Auto Reframe that helps do just that. In fact, it will analyze any video footage and trying to track whatever pertinent information is going on in that clip. And in essence, auto reframe. So, in this project, I want you to go ahead and double click on the balloon animation original composition here to open it in the timeline. And then press the spacebar to preview the animation. And you can see the balloon just flow right into the middle of the scene. That is great. I will go and press the spacebar to stop playback. Now double click on the balloon 9 by 16 Instagram auto reframe composition. Notice this com contains a Premiere Pro sequence that actually utilizes that auto reframe feature. Notice the comp is vertical and if I press the space bar, you can see the movement of the composition tracks along with the movement of the balloon, although it is not quite perfect. So, I want to recreate a comp that matches the settings where I can actually create the movement myself inside of After Effects. I will press the space bar to stop playback. And I will go to the project panel and make sure this balloon 9 by 16 comp is selected. I am doing that so I can see the comp settings appear. Now let's go to composition. And choose. New composition. Click on the preset drop down and choose the HTTV 1080-2997 preset. And make sure the lock aspect ratio is deselected. Then we can change the width to match the width from our source here. So, I'll change it to 607. And we can leave the frame rate and duration the same because that's the way it is over here. So, let's go ahead and call this AE underscore. Insta. Reframe. And I will click OK. So, let's move this comp up onto our AA compositions for the output folder, just so it's by itself. Then double click on that comp to make it active for in the timeline. And we can drag our balloon animation original comp rate into the timeline like so. Here you can see the edges of the 16x9 composition. Now I'm gonna move my current time indicator down the timeline until I can see the balloon stop. Which is gonna be right about here at 1 second 28 frames. Then I will press P to open the position data. And click on the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Now let's move the current time indicator back to frame 0. And I'll scrub on the X parameter to the right. So that my composition slides over to the right like so. So now if I press the space bar to preview the animation. You can see the balloon kind of moves in. And it stops rather abruptly. So, go ahead and press the space bar to stop playback. And to smooth this out I'll click on the word position to select both keyframes. Then you can right click on either one of the keyframes. Then go to the keyframe assistant. And add easy ease. Now if we press the space bar to preview the animation you can see it stops beautifully. If we want to save this composition as a preset. I'll go ahead and press the space bar to stop playback. And I will go to composition. Composition settings. And since my last new comp was set up with the settings it's already loaded. So, to save it. I will just click this little paper icon here. And we can call this 9 by a 16 insta. And click OK. Now we've got a preset set up and we have our project ready so we can actually render this and then in turn upload it into Instagram. What you learned. Create vertical video from horizontal video sources Create a new composition using settings for vertical video 1. Choose composition new composition. 2. Set the preset drop down menu to HDTV 1080-2997. 3. Make sure that the lock aspect ratio option is deselected. 4. Change the width setting to 607 and click OK. Add the original 16x9 composition to the new vertical composition 1. Open the new vertical video composition. 2. 
drag the 16 by 9 composition from the project panel into the timeline of the vertical composition. Animate the position of the 16 by 9 composition to follow the action in the scene 1. Move the current time indicator in the timeline panel, and set position keyframes as needed to keep the action in the middle of the vertical composition. 2. Change the keyframe interpolation of the set keyframes to better match the motion of the project. Save the composition settings as a preset for future use 1. Choose Composition Composition Settings. 2. Click the icon beside the preset drop-down menu. 3. Name the preset and click OK. Here we go we are done for today. Do not forget to leave your comment down below to help me to improve the content of the channel. See you next time. Goodbye.